Right, so we're going somewhere else. I have a Xbox One X with no power. So let's have a look at this. See what the deal is. Is it no power or is it not turning on? Or is it a beep on beep off or is it a no display? Completely no power. All right, let's crack, out, crack this one open then, shall we? Shit. <laughs> Q, motherfucker. Sorry, customer. Today's video is sponsored by PCBWay. In the month of December, PCBWay are having a huge Christmas sale with up to 50% off across all their services. With PCB fabrication starting at just $5 for 10 pieces, now is as good a time as ever to start designing your next project. What's more, for a very limited time, you can get up to $435 of coupons and save big. To top it all off, they're also giving away some cool gifts with every order, including the chance to win some amazing prizes such as a voice-activated robot dog, a logic analyzer, and much, much more. Head over to the PCBWay Promotions page by clicking on the link in the video description to learn more. Thanks again to PCBWay for sponsoring the video. Now let's get back to the repair. <laughs> Whoops. Linus. If it weren't broke, it is now. Nice oh, bit of dust there. Ah, lovely. We've got a Foxconn cable. That's better. No shitty Amphenol cable in this one. Good. That's all I like to see. Right. I mean, this needs cleaning anyway. It's never been opened. So let me just test the power supply. Make sure that's okay. And I had the cables mixed up. But, yep, yeah, that's putting out 12 volts. Okay. Well, 11.6, but that's normal. Yep, yeah, so the power supply is working. Or at least to the point where it would attempt to turn on. So it's not that. That's not the issue. There is a bit of corrosion. No, it's not corrosion. So it's uh, overspill. Never mind. Ignore me. Thought it was corrosion. You see green stuff. You just automatically assume corrosion. No, it's overspill on the uh, solder mask. Or conformal coating, whatever you want to call it. I have got an X clamp removal tool. I'll just choose not to use it because someone on YouTube didn't like me using a uh, screwdriver. So now I'll use a screwdriver every time. Why not? Just to be an asshole. And plus I can't be asked to find it. <laughs> right, okay. Anyway, let's have a look. So, chances are this is not going to be anything power related. Chances are it's going to be related to this chip here. And that chip is the TDP158. Very, very common when the HDMI encoder blows that it causes no power because it's got a 5 volt rail running through it and basically if we've got a short on the chip itself it can cause a short on the 5 volt that in turn causes a short on the 3.3 .3 volt rail and that causes it to not power on because it needs a 5 volt and 3.3 .3 volt rail to turn on it's a very very common issue so the way I test that is just to check C50 in resistance mode we should expect anywhere from around about two and a half to ten thousand ohms on this capacitor. We're getting a hundred and seventy-seven ohms. So it is the encoder, that's why it's not working. It's not a dead short, but it's not good either. So I'm gonna remove this, but once I've removed it, I need to test it again because there is a chance that it could have taken out the ESDIC. The problem is the ESDIC C50 is connected to C25, this cap here. So if I was to do a continuity test from the right hand side of this cap to the top of this cap, we're going to get a beep. But if the resistance hasn't changed or it's still not giving me a, a normal reading, then chances are we're going to blow an ESDIC. And at that point, this board then becomes uneconomical to repair. Yeah, there we go. We've got like 20,000 ohms. It is dropping. Um, resistance is going to change based on the heat that's on the board. But we've got a fairly normal reading there. 20,000 ohms and dropping, so chances are the ESDIC good. And we should be able to just grab a donor board, put on a replacement encoder, and call this one good. I don't think I've got any brand new TDPs. I need to order some. I'm going to have a look in my little tub. If not, I'll grab a donor board with one on. Hang on, I might have. I've got two. I do need to order some ASAP. All right, well, at least I've got a brand new chip, though. And no, I don't need to 
replace the solder that was on there because there's nothing wrong with the lead free solder that is already on the board I'll drop my airflow down so it doesn't make a mess everywhere yeah I'll have to increase the airflow Running low on thermal paste. Right. Question now, does it turn on? Of course it turns on. Of course it turns on because we are geniuses. That's what we are. We are geniuses. Ha! And there we go. It's displaying as well. Cool. Yep, so the no power. As always, it's an Xbox Xbox One X. It always causes an issue with power when the redriver fails. I don't know why. I don't know what the difference is between the um, Xbox One S and the One X when it comes to the V-timers. But, yeah, on the One X, it just always causes uh, power issues for some reason. But, you know what? That's working. And, uh, yeah, another job done, I suppose. Ding, ding. Cool. Good. Let's just make sure it works in 4K. Yep, yeah, there we go. 4K. Good. Awesome. The encoder always causes an issue on these. To be honest, I've done that many encoders since I started actually repairing consoles. It's unreal. I used to do, like, 30 of these a week. Genuinely. I genuinely used to do, like, 30 of these a week. To the point where I was literally buying encoders in packs of 250. Because I just could never keep up with how many I needed. <laughs> I used to buy them in packs of 250. I'd be, I'd be doing 30 a week at one point. And 30 is a lot by any stretch of the imagination. But honestly, I, I genuinely used to get fed up of doing them to the point where I wasn't even doing them on live streams or videos. Because they're just too common. It's just that not many people get them fixed anymore because they think it's not worth it. But, fun fact, I only charge £50 for that and the return postage. But, yeah, I was doing 30 of these a week at one point. It was that common. It's unreal. But, you know what? Nice to get something other than a PS5, I suppose. 